North is ready and Nigeria will continue to exist. Separating from Nigeria isn't easy, Dr. Abdullahi says. The agitation to separate from Nigeria by some group in the southeast and southwest of Nigeria has continued to generate reactions among some Nigerians, especially those in the northern Nigeria. I listen carefully to the over two minutes video of Dr. Hawal Abdullahi, who is the president of the Northern Consensus Forum, and he made it clear that the position of the Northern Nigeria as it concerns the agitation currently going, in, going on in the country. The Abdullahi who spoke automatically made it clear that the Northern Nigeria is ready for separation if need be. The former Minister of Aviation in Nigeria, Chief Femi Fani Kayode, who participated in that meeting, shared a video of the Northern Consensus Forum President speaking. See what he said. My friend and my brother, Dr. Hawal Abuba Abulai, President of the Northern Consensus Forum, makes his contributions at the Conference of Ethnic Nationalities in Abuja. Listen to this. But on the contrary, he said that he believes in one united and indivisible Nigeria and that Nigeria will continue to exist no matter the problem we are facing today. He went further to say that separating from Nigeria isn't easy as those who are preparing, or those who are preparing for the separation from Nigerians are just wasting their time. This is not easy at all. It's also said that the North is ready for separation if need be. To me, he wanted to surprise those who think that the, the Northern Nigeria is afraid of Nigerian breaking up as a nation. Some Southerners have this belief that the North is comfortable with the current structure of Nigeria and therefore can do anything to defend it. Dr. Abdullahi, while admitting that there is a problem today in Nigeria, said that the problem of Nigeria needs to sit down and discuss the Nigeria need to sit down and discuss the challenges facing it. However, I noted that the venue of the meeting where the president of the Northern Consensus Forum spoke was rowdy when he said that the North isn't afraid of breaking away from Nigeria. I even had voices of people telling him to speak for himself, while others said that he was entitled to his own personal opinion. On rotational presidency, the NCF president said that he does not believe in it, adding that the focus should be cred credibility and someone who loves the country and can unite it. This statement did not even go down well with some of the parti participants of the meetings who made some noise to show their approval or disapproval, sorry. I wonder how some evil elites who took part in that meeting would feel with Dr. Abdullahi's position on rational presidency. Don't forget that there are two sets of people in Igbo land today. First, it's those who want Nigerian structured and Igbo presidency comes 2023. Second are those who are seriously agitating for Biafra and want a total break away from Nigeria. Same is true in the Southwest, where we have those who want Udua nation and those desire to have a Yoruba presidency in 2023 as well. In all, I think that Nigeria needs to discuss its challenges. The Biafra and Odudua agitation is gradually tearing the country apart, and we can talk about 2023 election amidst 
tension and uncertainty. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. You can imagine. This man is right with everything he has just said. He's very, very much right for what he has just said. One Nigerian, people are saying that one Nigerian is what they want. That is one Nigerian that is only favoring the elites in Nigeria. Some are clamoring for one Nigeria, some are clamoring for Yoruba nation, some are clamoring for Biafra Republic. You can imagine. Imagine. Some people are not Igbos, but they are still clamoring for Biafra Republic. Why the Igbos are not even making moves? You can imagine how wicked some Igbos might have, are, are. You can imagine. They are so very selfish and greedy because of Igbo presidency. They don't want to support Biafra. Why Yorubas and Yorubas are also clamoring for Yoruba? The Yorubas are also clamoring for presidency, Yoruba presidency. They are, they are refused to support the Yoruba nation. What a life. You can imagine. You can imagine. Nigeria might even continue to exist. Only if the Fulanese are ready and willing to see, acknowledge, and regard the rest of the citizens and make, make sure that they are equal, they see themselves equally. If not, superior in nearly, is nearly everything. Superior is nearly everything. They should seek peace and equal justice for all. They should drop their de de delusional bond to rule mentality. It will never work in this part of the planet early, uh, planet else. So no matter, I think, no matter how many people they kill or set out to kill, the time when wars and dangerous uh, uh, weapons were used to wipe off some people or tribes off the map is long gone. So they must realize that every tribe now has access to technological uh, welfare. They have access to justice, equity, tolerance, and peace. These are what our citizens need for full cooperation and harmony in Nigeria. So viewers, because you have nothing and you will surely go with nothing, devilish people is not by force. So the devilish people are roaming about about not happy with the way the Yoruba nation and Udua, or Yoruba nation, Udua nation and the African Republic have been clamoring for peace. They have been clamoring for the for Biafra Republic. They are not happy about it. I'm not happy at all. But I know for sure, certainly, for sure, that no matter what, Biafran has come to stay, or the Dua Republic have come to stay, and nothing will stop it. That is it. That is it. You have dead, dead people around that doesn't want the peace in this country. They want war, they're fighting for war. But Biafra and the Dua are not even clamoring for war. They are clamoring for peace, but they want separation. They want to leave, but they are tired of becoming, uh, be being treated like slaves. So viewers, your take on this is very much important. Please don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive notifications whenever we upload new videos. Thank you.